السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. The conditions of the Prophet peace be upon him with his Lord. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book to his Prophet, Worship your Lord until what is certain death comes to you. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. When contemplating the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last of all prophets and messengers of Allah, one realizes that he, peace be upon him, was the most loving person to his Lord, the most mindful of him, and the most one to have hope in his Lord. He, peace be upon him, said about himself, by Allah, I fear Allah more than ye do, and I'm most obedient and dutiful among you to him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, I am the most knowledgeable about Allah amongst you, and I am the most mindful of him. He, peace be upon him, used to feel comfort in his supplication to Allah. Therefore, even before the beginning of his mission, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to worship Allah alone in the cave of Hira for several nights. When his Lord, the Almighty, chose him as a prophet and a mercy for the worlds, he used to find his comfort in worshiping Allah, glory be to him. He, peace be upon him, said, My comfort has been provided in prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also used to ask Bilal to call for the prayer, saying, O Bilal, call Iqama for prayer, give us comfort by it. Also the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to keep on performing night prayers for the love of his Lord, to get the pleasure of worshipping Allah, to thank Him for His blessings, and out of compliance with the command of the Almighty Allah for Him in the Qur'an. As Allah said, stay up throughout the night, all but a small part of it, half or a little less, or a little more. Recite the Qur'an slowly and distinctly. It is reported that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to offer night prayers till his feet be became swollen. Somebody said to him, Allah has forgiven you your faults of the past and those to follow. On that he said, shouldn't I be thankful, slave of Allah? The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to observe much additional fasting and call people to do so. He, peace be upon him, said, he who observes fast for a day in the cause of Allah, he would remove his face from the hell to the extent of 70 years distance. He, peace be upon him, used to fast on Mondays and Thursdays, and three days of each month. He, peace be upon him, said, deeds of people are presented to Allah on Mondays and Thursdays. So I like that my actions be presented while I am fasting. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, said, my dear friend, the Prophet advised me to do three things, and I shall not leave them till I die. These are to fast three days every month, to offer the duha prayer, and to offer witr before sleeping. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, used to always make dhikr, remembrance of Allah, and ask Allah for his forgiveness and compliance with the command of the Almighty Allah. As he, the Almighty, said, so celebrate the name of your Lord and devote yourself wholeheartedly to him. Allah also said, Prophet, remember your Lord inwardly in all humility and O, oh, without raising your voice in the mornings and in the evenings. Do not be one of the heedless. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Ask Allah for forgiveness. He is most forgiving and merciful. Therefore, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to make dhikr in all his conditions. Abdullah ibn Umar once said, We would count that the Messenger of Allah would say a hundred times during one a meeting, My Lord, forgive me and pardon me. You are the pardoning and forgiving one. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, I seek forgiveness of Allah and repent to him more than seventy times in a day. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
his companions and followers. Among the manifestations of the Prophet's relation with his Lord in his satisfaction with all of Allah's decrees, therefore when the Prophet peace be upon him saw his son Ibrahim breathing his last, the eyes of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him began shedding tears. Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, may Allah be pleased with him, said, O Messenger of Allah, you too weep. He, peace be upon him, said, O Ibn Auf, it is mercy. Then he began to weep and said, The eyes are shedding tears and the heart is grieved. And we will not say except what pleases our Lord, O Ibrahim. Indeed, we are grieved by your departure. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, used to reflect on the Quran and he would like to listen to the Quran recited by others. Hudayf ibn al-Yaman, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I prayed with the Prophet, peace be upon him, and noticed that whenever he came to a verse which spoke of mercy, he stopped and made supplication, and whenever he came to a verse which spoke of punishment, he stopped and sought refuge in Allah against it. Ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, reported the Prophet, peace be upon him, said to me, recite the Quran to me. I said, O Messenger of Allah, shall I recite the Quran to you which is, has been revealed to you? He, peace be upon him, replied, I love to hear it recited by others. So I recited to him a portion from Surat and Nisa when I reached the verse, how will it be then when we bring from each nation a witness and we bring you, O Muhammad, as a witness against these people? He, peace be upon him, said, enough for now. When I looked at him, I saw his eyes were shedding tears. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our master Muhammad and upon his family and companions. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise his flag high among all countries of the world.